and warning. Please go check outside your home. Please go check outside your home. Please go check outside your home. This is not real. Before this video starts, I do want to say do not send hate to the people and the communities that I talk about in this video. I simply fell into a very interesting rabbit hole that I wanted to share it with you guys. Do not send hate. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and buy yourself something nice at EarlDoesn'tExist.com using my link in the description below. Full stop punctuation YouTube rabbit hole. On YouTube, if you search up a period, a symbol, or simply the phrase full stop punctuation, you get a lot of disturbing videos. However, a lot of these videos are actually memes, but with very disturbing thumbnails such as gore. But if you keep on scrolling into the rabbit hole, you will find actual gore videos here on YouTube. The reason why I bring up this rabbit hole is because a dolphin video actually blew up from the rabbit hole. And most of you guys watching probably found the dolphin video by searching up the phrase full stop punctuation on YouTube. Similar to the goat statue that I talked about in my unnerving YouTube video series. Cursed dolphin video. Believe it or not, there's five different versions of the dolphin video. So I'm going to be explaining every version of the video and debunking some stuff. But once we get to the actual original video, I'm going to be breaking down that video even more and possibly revealing who is underneath the mask. The first dolphin video I'm going to be talking about is titled Original Dolphin Muzzle Cursed. This video is the same dolphin but with a yellow bar showing Armenian text with a weird distortion for the audio. This video was posted somewhat before the full stop punctuation was at its peak and the video has gained 25,000 views but I'm pretty sure this is just a re-upload because I remember seeing this exact version of the video with way more views. I do not know what the text on screen say because Google Translate isn't the best but there's really no need to look into this because the information is irrelevant on finding the origins to this video. But something that a smaller channel discovered is that the audio used for this video is a distorted version of Tarzan yelling. Have a listen. This is not a drill. At the peak of the full stop punctuation rabbit hole, this other version of the dolphin video would surface saying that this is not a drill. This video would be titled full stop punctuation and would be one of the first videos to pop up if you search for that phrase. Before I play you guys the clip, headphone warning. Hello. This is a warning. Please go check outside your home. Please go check outside your home. Please go check outside your home. This is not real. The following messages being transmitted at the request of the <laughs> Yeah, the ending of that video makes me want to go back to church. Anyways, this version of the video tells you to go outside and this is not a drill, which finally leads to a jump scare with that very disturbing audio at the end. I don't know where the audio is from in the beginning of the video, it could just simply be text to speech that anyone could make, with that weird PSA beeping sound in the background. But another YouTube channel did find the origins of the horrifying background audio used for when the dolphin jump scares you. The audio is actually from Five Nights at Freddy's, the FNAF tapes to be exact, which is a fan-made Five Nights at Freddy's analog horror series. Have a listen to the original audio, but remember, headphone warning. TikTok viral video fake lead. This next video is completely different than the ones that we just saw because this has no relation to the actual original video. But for some reason, many people on TikTok and YouTube shorts would post this weird clip of a dolphin man chasing a group of guys. Yo, what's this, dude? Dude, dude, yo, get out! Yo, yo! 
Yeah, creepy stuff, but for the record, the man in this dolphin suit is not the same person as the one in this costume. Something very interesting is that this video was posted on February 10th, 2019, right before the full stop punctuation rabbit hole was at its peak. Of course, with this video being posted on TikTok, many kids believe this video to be real, which, um, it isn't. The channel who posted this video is called Life of Luxury, who makes these fake ghost hunting videos. Main reason why I felt like mentioning their Dolphin Man video was because some people believe that there's a correlation with the two, which isn't the case. I just had to mention it just to debunk it. So in conclusion, their video of the Dolphin Man chasing people is irrelevant to finding the origins of the original Dolphin Man video. Original video. Finally, where did this video come from? The original video was posted on the North For YouTube channel. The video is titled Dolphin Muzzle and was posted on December 30th, 2007, 15 years ago. The video is 40 seconds long of a man in a dolphin costume, but what's strange about this video is that the video is muted. If you go to the video's description, it does say that this is our dolphin muzzle prosthetic in slush cast latex proving that the dolphin man's mouth is a prosthetic with some body paint. Not gonna lie, whoever painted it did a pretty good job. Original video with sound. Like I said earlier, the original video was posted to the North for YouTube channel, but it was muted for some odd reason. And while watching the original video, it does seem that the dolphin man is talking, but you can't hear him because it's muted. Well, on December 6, 2022, a YouTuber by the name Andy Alex found the original video, but with audio. Sadly, he found part of the audio, making the rest of the audio lost media. Hello, this is the Dolphin Prophet Hank. Other than that, the rest of the audio is still missing. I find it really weird how the original uploader, North Fur, didn't post the video with audio, and who knows where Andy Alex found the audio to this video. What is North Fur? In this segment of the video, I will be diving into the North Fur YouTube channel to figure out why he was dressed up as a dolphin, and after looking at the channel for two seconds, it's kinda obvious. North Fur is actually a business where they sell animal prosthetics so people can dress up as their favorite animals. You can even buy the dolphin muzzle and dress up as the dolphin man. This user has so many videos of him dressed up as many animals that you can think of. A lot of these are still pretty creepy and are also muted, just like the dolphin video. Their first ever video posted to the YouTube channel is titled Cow Slash Bull Face, where he shows off the bull prosthetic face and the video was posted in 2007. They were pretty consistent with their upload schedule and posted videos for six years and then uploaded their last video in 2013, where they show off the rhino muzzle. But then two years later in 2015, Northford would make a return to YouTube by posting a tutorial on how to apply prosthetics with facial hair, which was the first tutorial video that Northford has made. This is a very different video from their old videos because this is the first video that they made with audio and we get a face reveal. But we'll get into that in just a moment. After that tutorial video, the channel would go inactive again for six years and finally came back on February 4th, 2022. Their first video back was titled, Back at it, Returning to the Makeup Chair. In the video, he says that he's back and explains his absence on YouTube, saying that he was just too busy to do makeup looks. What's very fascinating about this video is that North Fur would talk about his old videos and respond to the people calling his videos creepy, which I wasn't expecting at all. Now, many people have pointed out that older videos are creepy and you are absolutely right they are uh, a big chunk of that was due to the fact that they were recorded on really old first gen digital cameras um, they were recorded in like 2004 2006 in that time frame there weren't very many good digital cameras on the market and then the onboard audio was terrible. The microphone that was built into the piece was atrocious. Hello, this is the Dolphin Cross Fed Hand. These videos were not intended to be creepy, but because this was 2004, it was very hard to get your hands on a good camera. And while recording with a camera from that time, it just made his work terrifying, which it wasn't supposed to. As you just heard, Northford explained why there wasn't any audio, explaining that the camera audio was garbage, 
and he even played the original audio of the Dolphin video. So it appears that Andy Alex simply merged the audio from the return video with the original one, overlaying it to eliminate the on-screen text. North Fur is still active on YouTube since they last posted a few weeks ago. Who is underneath the mask? Like I said earlier, we got a face reveal back in 2015 in a video titled Tutorial 1, Prosthetics and Facial Hair, where it is revealed that Jason is behind the mask. This is the only time where you see him without any animal prosthetics, and this is the first video back after a long break, with this video being the first video to have improved camera quality and mic quality. Hi, my name is Jason. I'm the lead sculptor for North Fur Effects, and I am excited to be here to start creating new videos. Uh, we've recently relaunched our website this past summer, so I'm focusing on trying to do applications and videos and tutorials and all kinds of stuff of all of our older pieces and new pieces that we're working on, and we're just going to go at it. Like he just mentioned, he is the lead sculptor for North Fur FX. Before I stumbled upon this video, I always thought that his videos were very disturbing until we later found out that it was because of the old camera look. But in this video, Jason seems like a very chill and sweet guy. This comment best describes it saying, I'm happy to see this guy is a genuinely normal and nice guy, not a weird demon creature like I thought he was when I first saw the dolphin video, lmao. Now we know the origin of the creepy dolphin humanoid video and found the person underneath the mask. But while researching for this video, I had one question in mind. Who is the target audience? Furries? After all, furries typically wear furry suits, while North Fur wears prosthetics and sometimes dresses up as non-furry animals, such as rhinos and dolphins. Target audience. Eight months ago, I posted a video titled YouTube's Most Unnerving Videos where I talked about a handful of videos that were disturbing. One video I mentioned was titled Mr. Ed Spoof. This video was posted on YouTube on September 6, 2009, which is around the same time that the Northford channel was uploading. Hi, I'm Mr. Ed! Nay! Nay! And how, and how are you today? Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> no! I don't know about you, but this video gives me the same vibes as the dolphin muzzle video. It's a person in an animal suit that isn't furry-like. Looking deeper into the channel that posted the Mr. Ed spoof, you can see that the channel is titled Humanimals, which is two words combined. Human, animals, humanimals. The reason why I bring this video up is because if you go through the YouTube channel, you can find a lot of videos of people dressed up as animals, similar to the Northford channel. From the looks of it, humanimals are different than normal furries, so I guess you can count them in their own separate category. I even found Jason's Twitter account, and he retweets a lot of humanimal content, which I can confirm that the humanimal Twitter account is 100% ran by the same people that run the humanimal YouTube channel. And since North Fur sells a lot of animal prosthetics, I wouldn't be surprised if the Humanimal YouTube channel buys her prosthetics from North Fur. I even asked a furry if Humanimals are furries and he told me this. That's some freaky stuff. Most of the time it's not considered furry because it's not a suit that has fur or your own characterized character which is based on the majority of the fandom. It's one of the most bizarre things out there because they're going after realism, even from what I've seen and heard, more of a kink slash sexual kind of stuff. For me, it's not really furry related, but you can see the effort that these guys put in. I then asked if humanimals are like a subcategory to furries or if it is its own separate niche. He then told me this. Furry stuff is based on cute stuff and based on your own character. Mm, it's only a small portion of the community, so it's a small yes. It's not seen a lot because it's freaky and realistic to be furry related. So he basically just said that it's somewhat part of the furry community, but the way they dress isn't furry-like. So they are completely different fandoms that happen to be very similar. For example, Marvel and DC are very similar because they're superhero-like, but have completely different fandoms. So the target audience of these videos are the humanimal community, but some furries could also enjoy this type of content as well. Another reminder, do not send hate to these people and their communities because I don't condone hate to anyone. I just found a very interesting creepy video and fell into a very interesting rabbit hole that I was pretty fascinated with and I wanted to share it with you guys. Do not send hate. And that is the end of where did this video come from? 
Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. Make sure to follow my social medias and go check out EarlDoesExist.com for some fire clothing using my link in the description below. I know this video was a bit different just because I talked about one specific topic instead of many other topics like my other videos, but this video was very fun to make and very interesting. So thank you again for all the crazy support and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.